friends this video is to explain bill of material concept as required in ERP the software what we are trying to use is ERP next however the concept remains same in almost all the ERP software the product which I have taken is a snow shovel basically this is used to uh, move the snow from your uh, area around the house or on the road onto the adjacent sides so you use this part to push the snow you keep your hand one hand at this place and hold the snow shovel from here now the bill of material concept can be better understood from backward to forward that is from final product to the component level and for that consider this is a whole snow shovel assembly which consists of multiple parts now if I break up the snow shovel and separate the car parts then first I will get at this level where I have this scoop assembly part that is this blue color and gray color parts one assembly this four rivets which joins the scoop assembly with the handle they are considered here the scoop assembly that is this one is joined to the handle with a bracket it's called scoop shaft connector this one so these four rivets will go one here one here one here and one here on other the next part is this brown color handle which is a wooden part here brown color handle the third is this complete top handle assembly which is shown here now this top handle assembly will be connected to the rod with these two holes and similarly the top the shaft will be connected to the scoop shaft connector with these two holes here so two here and two here these four holes will be used to connect the shaft with the top end assembly and shaft with the scoop shaft connector assembly with the help of a four nails so I repeat this top handle assembly is connected to the shaft through these two nails out of four two nails will be used here this top handle is connected to the scoop shaft connector through two nails the scoop shaft connectors will be joined to the scoop assembly with the four rivets and that's how the snow shovel assembly will be made however here we have a this top handle assembly is a, which is still assembly it's not at a component level and the scoop assembly still is assembly not at the component level so let's break them further starting with scoop assembly first here the scoop assembly will have a scoop that's this blue color component which is shown here it is joined to a blade this is gray color component the scoop and blades are joined with help of six rivets which are riveted on this six holes so that was for the scoop assembly now on the top handle assembly we have top handle that is wooden part that's a br this brown color then we have uh, nails because this top handle will be fixed onto the bracket assembly so let me first explain the bracket assembly the bracket assembly consists of a one this formed strips of metal strip u shaped metal strip and a small coupling which is like a steel rod small uh, cylindrical shape coupling this bracket assembly is joined to the top handle wooden part with the help of a two nails so one nail will go from left hand side here and one nail from the right hand side here now again this bracket assembly consists of two parts top handle bracket which is a metal strip band in the form of a u shape and the coupling which is a cylindrical component here so that's how the complete snow shawl assembly is 
uh, broken them into its constituents that's the parts now let's take it all together and let me first reduce the this one so that we can see the whole things very clearly all together yeah yeah now let's take a uh, the how the material will be procured let's starting from the top handle coupling that is this part top handle coupling i would plan this particular component i would plan this particular component as let's say metal rods so i'll take the metal rods i will cut into the required length then i will make a hole inside that cut component so that the uh, the uh, the shaft can go inside i'll also put two holes from the top that's how this top handle coupling will be ready so i am going to buy a raw material in the form of a i will buy a raw material in the form of a rod it will be cut and drilled to make the top handle coupling okay so remember we are buying top handle as a top handle coupling as a rod okay uh next this top handle bracket i am going to buy a raw material in the form of a strip i will cut the strips then i'll bend that in the form of a u shape and then it will be ready for the assembly next it's a nail so i'm going to buy the nail ready made from the market it will be ready to use stop handle wooden piece again i'm going to buy wooden rods and then i'm going to cut them into the required length so the raw material for the top handle will be in the form of a rods i have to cut them to make it ready for the assembly now going on the scoop assembly the scoop this i will buy a metal sheet i will cut into this shape and i will bend that to the required on the press machine and that's how the scoop will be ready the blade it's a metal strip which i'm going to buy a metal strip i'm going to cut into the required length i'm going to make six holes into it and then i'm going to uh, i'm going to grind that strips to make a sharp edge at the lower end the rivets i'm going to buy ready made ready to use now let's go up to this first shaft this shaft i'm again i'm going to buy a uh, wooden rod and this wooden rod and let's say this wooden rod are of different size in terms of diameter so i'm going to buy this wooden rod separately and i'm going to cut that into a required length also remember that this wooden rod will require two holes on the top here for fixing the top handle assembly and two holes at the bottom to fix it with the scoop shaft connector <coughs> next is this rivets let's say this rivets i'm going to buy ready made and you can note down this number 14127 same is 14127 so the rivets required six here for the scoop assembly and the rivets required for fixing scoop assembly to the scoop shaft connector are same size so that's why the number is same so i required a total six numbers here and four numbers here so six number i have mentioned here and the four numbers here now the scoop shaft connector i'm going to buy ready made let's say from some of the subcontractor so that person is going to buy the material that person is going to bring uh, uh, make a shape of the scoop shaft connector drill this four holes for fixing the scoop assembly and two holes for connecting it with the rod and is going to supply me this ready to use top end of the assembly we have discussed and the nails four nails two for the fixing top handle with the rod 
and two for fixing rod with this shaft, scoop shaft connector so that's why we require four nails again the nails will be ready to use so if i want to put which are the material which are ready to use so i am going to mark them let's say with some let's say mark with some marking here so this part i am going to so this four nails ready to use scoop shaft connector ready to use four rivet ready to use this six rivet ready to use these two nails ready to use rest all material i'm going to buy and i'm going to perform some of the operations on through this so now let's see what are the operations required i'll start from the top handle coupling my raw material is in the form of a rod so let me uh, type that here let me try here to reduce this part yeah so let's say for the top handle coupling the operations required are open cut into required length then make a hole to fix shaft that's a wooden shaft let me put wooden shaft again i have to make two holes to put nail to fix wooden shaft so this three operations are required similarly if i say let's say if i say bracket so top handle bracket what are the operations required so i would say the operations required are i will buy the metal strip remember that so strip to be cut into required length make oh no first uh, okay make two holes at both the ends to fix top handle then bend this strip bend this strip into the required u shape that's how it will be ready right many time the people use uh, quality control also so let's add do the inspection of top handle coupling is actually coupling for coupling also required similarly i would say here do the inspection miss checking of bracket top handle bracket so this way i have to list out the operations okay and uh, also uh, let me add here uh, i'll add in the bracket what's the so top handle coupling uh, the material is in the form of a material metal rod of required diameter that's the material i'm getting in the top handle bracket assembly the material i am getting is metal strip of required width and thickness 
the length will be long which we are going to cut so this way uh, you have to put for each component let's say if I now look at the whole picture here once again let's say starting from the top this wooden shaft it's bottommost item in this case here wooden shaft so raw material required in watch it's going to be wooden rod and what are the operations to be done on this then scoop assembly is further broken up in the scoop assembly scoop raw material will come in the fourth form and then what operation you are going to do similarly blade raw material come in what form and what are all operations you are going to do rivet in what form you are going to buy like in this case we are going to buy ready to use so there is no operation required for the rivet top handle raw material will come in fourth form so I give you two example one for top handle bracket that is this one and one for top handle coupling that is this one similarly we can prepare the uh, operations required for all the items and also for the assembly so when I write the operation for the top handle assembly that is this one I am going to say ok fix the top handle with the top handle bracket and put the two nails from the side so this one operation is which does the assembly of top handle with the top handle bracket assembly with the help of nail similarly here scoop blade and rivet so when I write the operations for this that is scoop assembly this three becomes a material input and the scoop assembly is the output in case of a top handle bracket top handle assembly top handle nail and bracket assembly becomes the input and the top handle assembly is the output and I required one operation here to assembly similarly top handle bracket and top handle coupling becomes the input and the bracket assembly is the output so I am not going to record that in the video but I am going to write them in the form of a steps with the numbers of the uh, identification numbers and I request you to prepare similar kind of documents for your selected product Thank you very much.